Who came to see you last night? What? Who came to see you last night? Tooth Fairy. What'd she bring you? Money. Money for what? For my tooth. For your tooth. <laughs> cool. I'm making this. You got, what do you have, Bubba? What do you have? Waffles? Bananas. And bananas? I got it. And milk? Uh huh. He's already helped me mop the floor this morning, which took twice as long because he helped me mop. <laughs> yeah. And there's the sexy man himself. That's right. <laughs> I drink my milk. Because one day, you guys will make fun of me when I'm big and strong. <laughs> This goober has a hat on backwards. Remember those milk commercials from the late 80s and early 90s? You're crazy. That scrawny little kid, and in the one scene, and he drank his milk, and he grew up, and he was a big muscle man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here, show my shirt. This is how I feel today. This is bless this hot mess. That would be me this morning. But, I did mop my floors already. Baby's not even here yet. Wait. And I got my floors mopped. So. Hi. Hi. Can I see the side of your face? Well, can I see what happened? Let me see this. Can I see that? Show me. Where'd you get boo boo? Where's your boo boo at? Right there on your face? Right there? Yeah, let's see it. Got kind of a red cheek. All right, I'm headed to work this morning. Um, today is the last day before students show up on Monday, so it's basically a work in your classroom day. Um, I have not done anything at all in my classroom. I haven't even been in my classroom yet. Um, I've got a lot to do. I've got a short amount of time to do it because I either have to leave early or have the kids come up to me. I'd prefer having them come up to me so I can finish up some work, but you never really know. Uh, Kimberly's got to go to the dentist today because she hasn't floss her teeth and she's got cavities. And she's going to be there for a while. So, anyway, I'm headed to work. It's the joyful commute to the school. It's not that far. So, anyway, see y'all later. say your name. I'm trying to teach him to say his name. Say Carson. Say Carson. <laughs> you better start. <laughs> Those baby laughs. Listen to that baby laugh. I'm in heaven over here, I guess. You're in heaven over there. You're falling. You're falling. You're falling. And this one is just crawling all over his mama. Crawling all over his mama. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah! That's a crazy man. It's a crazy man. <gasps> what? 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 Come on. Come on. Whoa! Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Say Carson. Say Carson. You better say Carson. <laughs> Why can't you tell me your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What is your name? What is your name? Say Carson. All right, guys, so I got my hair done. Um, I need to be quieter, the baby's sleeping. Finally got my hair done, um, and lunch is taken care of. The kids have eaten. Makeup's not done. I haven't done makeup yet, but I'm not going to do that right, until right before I have to leave. I've got to go to the dentist today to get my um, cavities filled. So, I have a sleeping baby. She's in the swing, napping. Oh, they're going to clean the playroom tonight. Carson is napping. Kaylee's in her room playing with the iPad for a little bit. And I think I may just kind of sit down and chill out. I just ate something. I don't normally eat lunch, but 
since I have to go get my um, cavities filled, they're going to try to do them all today on both sides. So my entire mouth is going to be totally sore and numb. So I'm not going to be able to eat for quite a while. So I might get a milkshake tonight. <laughs> or I'll probably just drink a protein shake actually. So anyway, so that's the plan. So I'm going to go enjoy my quiet time before all the kids decide to get up. Judge me if you must, but sometimes when the Rugrats are resting, Mommy needs to rest too. Um, excuse me. How am I supposed to rest when you're standing on top of me? She came up here and she threw Mr. Bill down. She's like, Mama, I want to play now. You've been holding babies and loving on kids all day. It's like you ignore me. Oh, okay. Well, just make yourself at home. I love you. You're a sweet dog. So, fun story about Pomeranians, if you don't have them, or if you've never, like, been around them before. They're very snuggly, cuddly dogs, you know, well, most of them are, with their owners. They're very protective of their owners, and they want to be close to you. And so, my mom has two of them. She's had one for about 13 years, I guess, and, or no, Keebler's not 13 years old, what am I thinking? No, she's like, nine years old, I think. About nine years old, probably. Well, anyway. Um, and the other one she's had for about a year. So she's had two Pomeranians. Well, when she lays down on the couch, she would take, like, pillows and put them on herself because the dogs would jump up and do what Phoenix basically just did to me. But Phoenix is a really small dog compared to the other two. They're bigger palms, especially Cookie. Cookie's, a, gosh, almost 20 pounds, probably. So having that big of a dog walk on you, <laughs> yeah. So I just thought it was cute that... You know, they're just so loving and they want to be so close to you, but sometimes it gets annoying when you're trying to rest and they're walking all over you. But she'd make like a pillow fort over top of her so that if they jumped up there, it wouldn't hurt or anything. All right, guys, hair's done, makeup's done, I'm ready to go. Daddy's home, so I gotta go. Let's go see what's going on in here. What's going on? Uh, uh, Don't tell my naked baby. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. daddy changing your diaper? I, I know. Hi, bud. Hi, Sharpie. Hi, Sharpie. Did you have a good nap? Uh, Alright. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go. I'm going back to work then. Okay, bye. I don't want to have to go tomorrow, but now I'm going to have to. Okay. I'm going to go hide. Okay, he said I didn't have to go, so I'm going to go hang out on the couch. Get your butt to the dentist. I'm watch gonna some, I'm going to watch some Netflix from Grey's Anatomy. Ow! You're kicking my the, butt. You're going to wake the other baby up. Shut She's up. already awake. Oh, my baby. <laughs> I'll get you a snack and a drink. Hold on. On that note, I better go. You're okay, baby. So, I'm home from work now. Kimberly's at the dentist. Haley's eating a snack. I got a popsicle. See? A popsicle, yeah. <laughs> um, Kimberly said she left the camera. I can't find it. So, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to use my phone. Um, my classroom is set up. I got to go up there tomorrow and finish setting up my classroom. Um, I'm way ahead of a lot of people, but I'm way behind still. Um, so that's tomorrow's activity. I'm going to go up there and set up my classroom. So that's it. Baby's still sleeping. Carson's playing with a snack in the playroom. Kaylee's got her snack in there and she's going to play on the iPad. And when the baby wakes up, I'll have to feed her. So anyway, that's my afternoon. Kimberly will be back later from the dentist. She's got four fillings to do, so it's going to take them a while. Um... Hopefully they do them all. It's her hope. Because she'll have the weekend to recover. We want to figure out another way for me to get off work. Um, it wasn't a big deal today because all it was was classroom setup stuff. So it wasn't that big of a deal. But anyway. Um, we'll see what we got to do later tonight. I really don't want to go into this place, guys. I know I'm being a big baby. I just don't want to get this done. And I don't know if they're doing them all today or just a couple or what. <sighs> I just want to get it over with. All right, I better just stop. I need to just get in there and get this done. <sighs> Carson, Carson, what are you doing? 
Say hi. You show him Tiggy? Show camera Tiggy. <laughs> Can we see Tiggy? Good boy, say. This is my Tiggy. We love Tiggy. Yeah. He's so cute. Alright. Um. Kimberly's still at the dentist. It's. I don't know what time it is. Carson's out of the playroom now. He's laying down here on the carpet. Might put him down for a little bit. Um. The baby's laying in the swing. Kaylee's playing on the computer. The dog's running around with... Oh, she's got a snack in her mouth. She's got a blueberry fruit bar in her mouth. Um, depending on how Kimberly feels, we'll determine what we go do tonight. Uh, she wants to go walk her out of the ball and eat, but she's getting a bunch of fillings today, so she's probably not going to feel much like doing anything. You know, she might surprise me. What do you have? Oh, cool. Is it a shaker? Now he's going to make a bunch of noise. Um, if not, we'll go tomorrow afternoon. Don't throw. No. That's no, no. Go pick it up. Go pick it up. Carson Dean, go pick it up. Now. Go. Pick it up. And uh, so anyway, we'll figure out something for dinner tonight. Because um, as you guys know, that's my favorite part of the day. How do you feel? You're a liar. She feels so. She feels okay. More brooming. It's like all oh, numb. And my like jaw. He had to keep my mouth open. It went from two until five thirty. So three and a half hours. He's like punched in the face right there too. Boom. Well, he told me. Yeah, he said he had to do a ton of work, and he said um, at one point. It when he was drilling, I could feel it. So he had a, he had trouble getting me numb, um, and then he heard my jaw popping, and it got to where I mean it was like hurting so bad to keep my mouth open. At the very end, he like did he not give you one of those bite block things that you bit down on on the other side? He did, but when your mouth huh. is open for three and a half hours, huh. it just hurts. And he's in the very back, so he has to huh. like I guess move my mouth or anyway. He gave me like a full like a mouth massage. <laughs> At you the gonna, end. <laughs> you gonna start flossing your teeth now? Oh, heck yeah. I can't do that. You know where the dental floss is? Yeah, I'll find it. It's in the I top drawer in the bathroom. In, bathroom. in my bathroom in that top drawer. You hid it in your bedroom. You got broomed. Oh. Really, Bubba? <laughs> really? <laughs> Son? Okay. I'm gonna take the kids to dinner. I'll go with you. You need to go to bed if you're hurting that bad. I want to spend time with you. We're going out tomorrow. We're going to the ball when I get off. You're going to go to work with me for a little bit. Help me get my room set up because you're better at that than me. Hi. Then we're going to go to the mall. And I'll take you up to Quail Springs Mall if you want me to. Mm. Okay. We'll do that we tomorrow. The right now, there's somewhere in Sooner Mall I want to go to. Okay. We'll go there then. Is there a play area? Yes. Yay. In Sooner Mall? Yes. Yay. Is it? And I don't even know like what I should do about eating because... Can't feel anything. I would just get something to drink and go to bed if I were you, but you don't listen to me. But he warned me. Oh, and you know it's bad. You know, at one point when he was having to give me shots, he goes, you need to take really deep breaths. And I was like, huh? He goes, take really deep breaths of the gas, like three or four, before I do this. He said, because this one's really going to hurt. Have you ever had a dentist tell you that before? Yeah. Like, to suck in air? Like Was it on the roof of your mouth? Oh, I have no idea. I yeah. couldn't. But he's the ones like, on the roof of your mouth hurt. He said this one's going to be bad. It was. It was not that bad. I mean, it. You could feel it, but it wasn't mm. like I'm going to die bad. It's not like he had to pull a tooth and the tooth shattered, and he had to dig the roots out of your gum, right? That happened to me one time. But it was just weird. I mean, I was just getting cavities, and it almost feels like I had a root canal. But yeah, who knows? Whatever. All right, we're going to go eat dinner. <laughs> Look what we got out last night. Look what we got out last night. Look what we got out last night. Oh, she's missing a tooth. Yep. You can't really tell her. Because of the one behind it. Tell them bye-bye. Bye. Oh, we got the dog. Now we broomed Mama. Take a picture of this. I'm recording it on the video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Why? I thought you loved me. Oh. Don't you love us? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you love me anymore? <laughs> oh, let him go. like a battle cry there. Oh no! <laughs> right, we're at Chick-fil-A, minus the mama, aren't we? Okay. Mom would wanna go somewhere else if she was here. Well, mama's mouth's hurting from the dentist today. And we're gonna eat our dinner, every bit of our dinner, aren't we? And then we're gonna go play. We got kids meals. I don't like got apples. Yeah, she's got, she ate all, she's eating all her fruit already. So she's being very good. Had a, had a little rocky start because she wouldn't listen. We're doing okay now. All right, so we're gonna eat our dinner, enjoy our dinner, and then we're gonna go play. And we'll see you guys later. We dipped our blueberry in ketchup and realized we didn't really like that very much. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. See if you like it. Mmm, ketchup blueberries. Breakfast of champions. There. Is it good? Carson, is it yummy? No, we just ate another one without ketchup, so ketchup and blueberries must not mix well. There's Carson. He's gonna climb up there. Go climb. Go climb. All right, the Chick Fil A adventure is over. We are going home. Carson's going to bed. Kaylee's going to go to bed very shortly. Isn't that right? Uh, is that the answer we're looking for? You can have your milkshake and then go to bed. Um, mommy's got her dinner. She thinks she can eat something now, so we'll try. And then Carson Dean, right there, is going to go to bed. Because it's after eight o'clock and he's way past bedtime and he's getting very very grumpy so he's going to bed see y'all later so how was your night children with your children so many small children running and screaming did you get any footage of this yes <laughs> so many <laughs> running through the restaurant too and they have to be told to stop by who? employees really? Yes. sounds like a wild night at Chick-fil-a it was so busy this wasn't like my children weren't involved in this right? No, okay where were their parents? sitting in a mass of parents just letting their kids take over Chick-fil-A? I was the only adult in the play area like it says to be well, yeah, but you said they're running through the restaurant. Yeah, they were doing that, too. So why aren't the parents getting them as they were running through the restaurant? I don't know. Hmm. I don't expect much more from Chick-fil-A parents. It's an excuse to let your kids go run wild while you get to sit and do nothing. Oh, well, it's not Chuck E. Cheese. Huh. I hate Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is too kid-friendly. I hate <laughs> them. I think I have a sharp part of my tooth, by the way. They ask you, you know, when you're there, if you have anything that feels weird, like a, the bite or the, like, the sharpness. And I was, like, totally numb, so I don't know how you... Because I feel like there's a part that needs to be, like, it's, like, too high. Like, the bite is too high. And then there's a sharp part, too. So I don't know. I, I hate that because you can't feel anything. Have you ever had that happen? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes I have. And you're like, well oh, just do your best. I'm like, I can't feel anything. You've numbed the entire side of my mouth. So anyway. Doggy's tired. Is mommy tired? <sighs> I'm just starting to it's starting to hurt because it's like not numb anymore. Okay, I gave you your and go to sleep. I know, I'm going to take some and probably get some rest.
I'm going to play Fallout after I clean the kitchen and living room. Because mm. it's my last night to do that. Well, let's tell them night-night. Night-night. Wait, it's your last night to do what? Stay up late and play a video game. We get to on the weekends. Yeah, but Saturday nights we gotta go to bed early for church. Oh yeah, true. And then Sunday night, <coughs> I gotta go to work Monday. You gotta go see all the kitties. <laughs> all those those fourteen year old lovelies. Oh. Hey, you chose that age group. I was always excited to see my five year olds. No, I chose tenth and twelfth grade. I got bumped down <laughs> to 7th and 8th grade. You can always get back up 10th or 12th eventually. <laughs> I got bumped down. I had a great job. Hey, yeah, you're taught, working your way back up though. You were 7th yeah, grade. Yeah. Now you're 8th grade. <laughs> Just I keep going. I taught 10th and 12th grade. But that school let it go It wasn't a good situation. Yeah. I'd go back for what, they, what I taught though. And then I got a job teaching 7th grade at the very bottom. And now I've been promoted to 8th grade. I wanted to stay in 7th grade. But I was really the only option to move. Because I was mm -hmm. the only one who was certified to teach 8th grade. Or hmm. had high school experience. I won't teach anything but kindergarten. Just how I roll. Uh, I don't really want to teach 9th grade. You kind of get into your Maybe comfort. What you like. What you enjoy. 9th uh, grade split state history. And geography. But at least you have more experience. I don't even have any other experience. I'm straight kindergarten. I taught three grades. I'm going to teach a fourth. Mm -hmm. It's my fourth year teaching in district, and it's my fifth principal. Mm -hmm. I only had one principal for five years. I had five principals in four years. <laughs> I've taught four subjects in four years. Yeah. Good night. Yeah, we'll do something fun with clean. the kids tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Night night. Say night night, dog dog. Phoenix. Oh. Night night.